there's quite a few members of the MDT uh, in Sleeve Mish. Uh, we have consultant psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, nurses, occupational therapists, uh, peer support workers, uh, administration staff, uh, and also we have housekeeping and household staff. So there's a big team there. Everybody works very hard for the client, uh, ultimately to achieve their, their utmost recovery. And we're delighted to say that the feedback has been very positive. The full team have been nominated, they've all embraced the changes, uh, they've taken them on positively, they've underwent training, um, particularly with regards to appropriate environments and risk assessments to make sure that people are treated in the correct environment and they've em embraced the, the uh, changes positively and um, we're delighted that things are going so well so far. This is a 34 bedded unit which has recently been refurbished and has, and has gone under some substantial changes with regard to our way of managing and caring for people with mental health distress. As part of the refurbishment we have changed how we have worked with clients and we've put a more clear recovery pathway for patients uh, in place there. Uh, the positive impact is, uh, has been across the board with the MDT. I think there is a, a feeling from staff's point of view, it's a calmer atmosphere. It's an atmosphere that, that uh, staff and patients, I think, are, are very proud to be part of it and are very happy to be there. As a staff group, and from us as, as ward-based managers, well, we've had a lot of input into the design of the ward. You know, I think overall we've come up with a very good design. Um, and something that's very workable for us as well. It's bright, it's modern, it's airy, it's comfortable for both staff and for patients as well. It's a massive achievement because to be fair we have as a group of staff we put in a lot of effort in, into the ward because we know it, it affects our daily job but also look, the reason that we are nurses is to look after people and, and you know, once their experience is, is beneficial you know that only enhances our job as well which is you know that's what it's about. It came as a surprise that we were awarded for something and I think it's nice to get some recognition. I'm very proud of all the staff that I work with. I think it's great that they are finally being recognised for the good work that they do. They work very hard really, to be fair. The CAMS ID, that's for young people that have got an intellectual disability, so that would be an IQ of 70 or less, and also that they would have a comorbid um, mental health difficulty. That may be depression, anxiety, ADHD, ASD, and that they would need our intervention and assessment. So once we're linked in, we would meet down, meet with all the other professionals, and it's we've this child, they're open to us now, who else are they open to? What's going on? And it's been very rewarding in you know working with the, the family and working with the other uh, team members and those working in disability with regard to, you know, how are things going? So that it's, it's the young people come in and as they come in, we're doing the assessment, seeing what the diagnosis is and then working through various avenues with regard to what does this young person need at this point in time. So we would have 12 special schools that we deal with within the Cork area and then we have some children that unfortunately aren't, they aren't able to attend school so that we would be out on the home visits. Well, it's recognition for the hard work that uh, all the team do. Uh, I'm only one person and that there's no way I could work without the team. And also what it does is highlighting for us the needs of uh, the young families and their children and hopefully be able to get us more services to do more work with more families. Mm -hmm.